Hi everyone, welcome to the best of ZAT series from IMS. Let's have a look at the next question from ZAT 2021, which is a question on compound interest. Again, not a very difficult question if you understood it well. If you are going to take the ZAT and are wondering what exactly to do over the next few days, we have a very special video for you in which we have discussed the pattern of the test, the sectional cutoffs, the preparation strategy and the attempt strategy. You can visit the video by clicking on the i button above or from the link in the description box below. Happy learning. Mohan has some money which he has divided in the ratio of 1 is to 2. He then deposits the smaller amount in the savings schemes that offer a certain rate of interest and a larger amount in other savings schemes which offers half the rate of interest. Both interests are compounded yearly, so normal compound interest. At the end of 2 years, the total interest earned from the two savings schemes is 830. So, the total interest earned is 830 rupees. It is known that the one of the interest rates is 10 percent and that Mohan has deposited more than 1000 rupees in each of the schemes, which means I will have to take minimum 1000 rupees he has put in both uh, both the schemes. So, let us start by saying, uh, you know, I am just going to try and understand which interest rates will it be possible. So, there are two possibilities. That means one of the interest rate was 10 and the second was 5 percent or it was 20 and 10. Now, these are the two possibilities. Think logically again. They have said in scheme 2, the interest rate was exactly half of scheme 1. Right? That is what they have said. Now, let us try first using this way. Rough numbers. What do I get? So, if I take 1000 rupees in the first scheme and 2000 in the second scheme, compound interest annually. So, if the rate of interest is 10 percent for 2 years, how much will it become? You can always use for successive percentage change for compound interest. So, it will be 10 plus 10 plus AB upon 100 that is 21 percent. So, the rate of interest for 2 years will become 21 percent and for second scheme it is 5 percent. So, again use A plus B plus AB upon 100 it will give 5 plus 5 plus 0.25. So, it will be 10.25 percent. Now, how much is 21 percent of 1000? It will be 210 rupees and will be 10.25 percent of uh, 2000. So, that is say 10.25 into 2 will be what uh, 20.5. So, I think it will be 205 rupees. Right. So, what is 210 plus 205? It comes to approximately 425 and the amount over here is double. So, 415, not 425. 415. If you notice the amount, the total interest earned is 830 is exactly a double of this. At this stage, you should have clearly thought that you have hit the miracle. You know, you have hit a miracle method that this is exactly double, just double up everything and that is your answer. The investment over here I have taken is 3000 because my answer is coming double, the answer has to be 6000. This is what I would have done in an exam situation. But just to make you understand properly, why is the other value not possible? So, if I took 1000 over here and 20 percent over here and 2000 over here and 10 percent over here, what happens? 20 percent for 2 years will become 20 plus 20 plus 4, 44 percent, right? 2 years and 10 will become 21 percent. 44 percent of 1000 will be 440 plus 21 percent of 2000 will be 420, which is 860 which is already more than 830. So, even with the minimum values, you are reaching 860, which is more than 830. So, this value is never possible. So, students who did not understand this exactly half wala logic, what I can do is, I can now explain to you that using 10, uh, that is 10 and 5 percent, how would you solve it using variables? So, let us try that. So, now what we will do is, let us say the interest rate, uh, the investment, the principle for the first investment is x and second is 2x, here the rate is 10 percent while here the rate is 5 percent. Now, I know 10 percent for 2 years will become 21 percent compound interest using a plus b plus a b upon 100 while this will become 10.25 percent. So, you will have 21 percent of x plus 10.25 percent of 2x has to be 830 rupees solve this 21 plus this will become again uh, 20.5 10.25 into 2 will be 20.5 so it 
So 21 plus 20.5 will be 41.5 will be 830 into 100. Solve that to give you x as how much? This will go 2 times. So x will come out to be 2000. Now x is 2000. What is your total investment? 2000 plus 4000. So total investment is 6000. Very, very straightforward sum. As I said, if you just tried with values of 1000 and 2000, you get exactly half, 415. And that should have been the ideal way to do this question.